What is up YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're gonna go over what's in my tech bag. I tell you guys are always asking me what kind of tech I'm rocking. And to be quite honest, I feel like a lot of you have fetishes for these videos. And I think I do too. So let's start off with my backpack. For my backpack, I'm carrying the Everyday Peak Design Volume 2 backpack. Now I've been switching between the Volume 1 and the Volume 2 version, and I feel like both of them are great. They're a little bit more expensive. They're coming in at over $250, but it is probably one of the best backpacks that I've ever owned. It's an everyday backpack that has flexible dividers, a ton of external carry straps, it's got an anchor link key tether if you have keys you're carrying around, and it has an awesome design. Now I have the 20 liter version, it does come in a 30 liter version as well, and it's super durable and it has plenty of space for your laptop, camera gear, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now it has magnets all around, so you don't have to worry about stuff falling out. You got magnetic clips on the fronts, the sides, inside the backpack, there's magnets all over the place. When you get to the back, you can see that the straps also magnetically clip to the back of the V2. So you don't have to worry about stuff just flying around. Now the backpack does have some security features as well. It has these zippers that if you don't want someone to come and open or if you don't want stuff falling out, the zippers do lock at the top and on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about anything falling out or anyone stealing your camera gear and things of that nature. You have your iPad and your laptop department in the back of the bag, so that definitely keeps it safe. By the way, anything you guys see in this video today, I will make sure to leave a link down below in the description for you guys. I guess next, let's empty out my pockets to see what I have for my wallet and my phone. All right, so for my phone, I have the iPhone 11 Pro with the D-Brand skin on it. D-Brand, I have a sick obsession for your skins. I absolutely love your products. And then for my wallet, we are rocking the Carbon Fiber Ridge Wallet. In my opinion, it's the most convenient, durable, and safe wallet that I've ever owned, and I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check them out. Let's start emptying this bag, shall we? So, first up, for my headphones, I'm rocking none other than the best headphones that you could possibly buy. These are the Sony WH-1000 XM4s. I did a full review on these headphones a couple of weeks ago. I will leave that link down below for you guys if you do want to go ahead and check out that review. Definitely the king when it comes to headphones. They have the best sound quality and noise cancellation in the world. Pair that up with super lightweight, comfortable design and a 30 plus hour battery life. And you have a headset that'll get you through pretty much anything. Definitely my favorite headphones. Oh, every time I put them on, it's like, I can't explain it. It just feels amazing. Next up, we have our Switch Pod. Now this is easily hands down the best pod that you could possibly use for vlogging or taking with you to travel. And if you don't want to use it for vlogging, it turns into a tripod as well that you can just sit down. It works better than I'd ever expect for a tripod. It has these really nice grooves here for the grip so you don't have to worry about dropping this pod with your expensive camera on it. And it also has this nice adjustable thread here on the bottom. So it literally takes like two seconds to connect to your camera. So. Definitely love this guy. I think it comes in at around 100 bucks, 150 bucks. It's definitely worth the money, in my opinion, especially when you're holding a much more expensive camera. Next up, we have the Anchor Power Core. I believe this is the 20,000 milliamp version. You can charge your iPhone six or seven times fully if it dies. So definitely a lifesaver. You guys definitely need a battery bank if you guys are out somewhere traveling. If you guys are out maybe camping, this is a must for you guys to have in your travel or everyday backpack. To go with the Anchor Power Bank, we have the Chaffon, Chaffon, six in one. USB link adapter. So you don't have to worry about carrying multiple cables around. It has multiple different connectors for you guys. It's just super convenient. It's probably the best thing that I've ever purchased. I think it's only like 10 bucks, if that. You definitely need one of these guys and it works perfect with your Anchor Core power bank. Next up, we have the High Cable Card. It's a compact and portable storage box that has a SIM card tool, multiple USB adapters, and room for different SIM cards and different connecting adapters. So this guy is very useful. For my USB, we have the SanDisk Extreme Goal 3.1 64 gigabit reader. And in that same slot, we have the Vanja multi-purpose SD card reader. It has a USB 3.0 connector on one end and a USB type C on another. It has an SD card reader and a micro SD card reader on each side, and it's super cheap. Now, when it comes to working out or just hanging out, and I don't wanna wear the much bigger Sony WH-1000 XM4s, I do have the Powerbeats Pro. Easily the best headphones out there for me. I don't have to worry about these sliding off like the AirPods Pro, and I don't have to worry about battery life since you get more than double the battery life with these over the AirPods Pro. Now for my portable SSD, we have the Samsung X5 Thunderbolt. Hands down the best and most powerful portable SSD you can pick up. These are super expensive, but when you're shooting 4K and 8K raw files, you need those faster transfer speeds, and the speeds you get with this thing are just nutty. And when I say nutty, I mean like nutty 3000, like 3000 for the read and the write speed. 
This thing is six times faster than the Samsung T1 version that they make, which is a different portable SSD. That one gets much hotter than this one. This one stays cool all the time. The design is sick and it also has layers of security. So if you want, you can password protect everything on here if you're on a top secret mission somewhere. Now for my everyday camera, we are rocking the Sony a7 III with the Sony 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens which in my opinion is the best lens for street photography and videography if you guys are just trying to carry around one lens with your camera. This is my favorite setup. I've been using it for the past couple of months. Hopefully here in the next week, I'll get my Sony a7S III. You guys already know the specs. That camera is insane. 4K, 120 frames per second. No recording times, no overheating. 10-bit internal RAW 422. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get that camera. You guys have seen the videos. They're absolutely killing it right now. Not to mention Tuesday, two days from now, Sony is debuting their Sony a7C camera, which is a smaller version of the a7 III with the same specs. Much lighter, much smaller, much more compact, and it will be cheaper. So make sure you guys stay tuned. That video drops on YouTube, I believe, Tuesday, and it's on Sony's channel. So make sure you guys look out for that. Getting into the back of the backpack, we have my daily driver, which is the iPad Pro 11 inch model. Now, I haven't felt a need to carry around a laptop because of everything that's going on. So I've been using the iPad 11 inch Pro with the Apple Pencil and it's been just fine for whatever I've needed to do with it. Now, I'm still torn between the Razer Blade 15 and the MacBook Pro 16 inch model. I didn't wanna go ahead and spend $5,000 on either one of those laptops when I know that they're secretly cooking something up and they're gonna drop newer models of those laptops here in the next couple of months. So I figured I'd wait, there's no rush. Hopefully when this is all over here soon, we can start traveling a little bit more. And that's definitely something I do wanna start doing is traveling a lot more. I do wanna travel, so all I'll really need is a powerful laptop to edit those four and 8K videos and a camera. So I don't have to worry about anything else. I can do my day trading, I can do my investing, and I can do my video editing from my laptop and a camera, and I can be pretty much anywhere I wanna be. Guys, if you have any questions, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comment section for me. If you guys wanna pick up any one of these products that you guys saw here on the channel today, I will leave them linked down below in the description for you guys, like I said. Let me know what you guys are rocking in your everyday setup, I'm curious. I wanna see what everyday tech you guys are carrying in your backpacks. Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Twitter, or just drop it down below in the comment section for me. I'm really curious to see what you guys are rocking here towards the end of 2020. This is definitely one of those videos I feel like I wanna start making more of, so, Definitely make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for more videos like this in the future and anything tech and gaming related. That's gonna wrap it up for what's in my tech bag, September 2020. If you guys did end up liking this video, please make sure you guys go ahead and destroy that like button for me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.